pardon the profanity, but we are living through an era of the collapse of bullshit. And there's so much bullshit collapsing that I felt like I had to dedicate an entire podcast to the phrase, although I'll use the, the phrase BS throughout the, um, the rest of the podcast. It's not just gratuitous profanity. It's, it's a really, really important concept. So let me name some of the ways this is happening. First, you know, our labs, CWC Labs, we announced a couple of weeks ago that we're doing glyphosate testing for not just our own products, you know, Health Ranger Store products, but also off-the-shelf products. And that off-the-shelf testing has begun. And what we're seeing, which is probably not surprising to you, <laughs> is that uh, not everything that claims to be natural or clean or even organic, not everything is free from glyphosate. And so we're going to be releasing those data publicly soon. I can't say exactly when, but it's coming. That's going to show the BS factor in a lot of uh, you know, off-the-shelf food products that you think are really clean, but they're not. They're not as clean as, as they imply. And so that's, you know, that's BS in the food industry, but that's just the beginning of the collapse of BS. We're also seeing even in cryptocurrency, right? Bitcoin has plunged now 80%. Most people are bailing out of Bitcoin who, who are diehard hodlers. They're now bailing and they're realizing, yeah, they were taken for fools and they, they wasted money on a, a big Ponzi scheme. You know, it was always tulip bulb mania. And of course, I warned about it and, and told people exactly what was going to happen, which is exactly what's happening now. But I knew that, that the BS of Bitcoin could not last forever because eventually they would run out of new people to keep pushing the price up. And so eventually it would all come tumbling down and there would be panic selling and there would be a collapse, which is what we've seen now. And it's probably going to go even, even lower. But it's not just Bitcoin, it's all the cryptocurrencies are in a state of collapse. And many of them have collapsed. Well, most of them have collapsed even more than Bitcoin. Some are down 90%, some are down 95%. And a whole lot of those ICOs that were all scams to begin with have collapsed and they're gone. Thousands of them. Just as I said, if you listen to my podcast over the last couple of years, you heard me warn about this many times. It was inevitable. It was easy to see. Of course, I was attacked by the Bitcoin uh, propagandists. But um, guess what? <laughs> Looks like they're taking a second look at the situation now that they've lost 80 to 90% of their so-called money. But that's just another example of the collapse of BS. We're also seeing the same thing in the stock market with the so-called FANG stocks, the high-tech stocks. And I've been warning about this since 2008, that the markets are overvalued and that the quantitative easing is artificially pumping up the stock markets through the creation of essentially counterfeit money by the Fed that's being pushed into the banks, that's being used by a lot of these companies to buy back their own stocks to create an artificial rise in the stock price. And it's all BS. And it has started to come tumbling down. Apple's down 25%. And most of the other tech stocks have also plummeted by a similar amount. And it's, it's only going to get worse because most of the market is wildly overvalued. And you've been living through the era of uh, BS stock market valuations. It really actually began after the dot-com crash. So around 2001, you started to see the, the bubble forming in its early days. We had the housing crash uh, or the, the subprime mortgage crash, technically, in the 2007 slash 2008 timeframe. You had the big bank bailouts and then the quantitative easing really kicked in there. Trillions of dollars at a time going into the system growing now the largest stock market bubble in the history of the world. And we're sitting near the top of it right now. And so there's a lot more unwinding yet to come in the stock market. And people are starting to wise up and realize, oh my God, this thing may not go up forever. That just blindly buying whatever is popular isn't really such a great investment <laughs> strategy. Now we're also seeing the collapse of BS with the media. You have the, the mainstream media is so full of BS and lies, uh, propaganda, you know, the, the Spygate, the Russia collusion uh, hoax. It's just completely false. And of course, the mainstream media, they knew it was false all along. And the independent media has been exposing the falsehood. And the efforts by the tech giants to completely censor the independent media have failed. They, they've 
hurt a lot of independent media, uh, including us. You know, they've tried to censor all our channels. They've tried to shut down all our traffic. Traffic is down 80 to 90 percent at some websites, but not at the independent sites like us where people go directly to our URLs. So people go to naturalnews.com directly. They type it in. A lot of people make it their homepage. And you look at the other independent media outlets that are exposing the BS of the left wing media. The ones that are doing well are the ones that have enough critical mass of news and information. They have something fresh every morning, every evening, you know, throughout the day, even on the weekends, as we do, they're getting direct traffic. So we really can't be filtered out by Facebook because people go directly to naturalnews.com anyway. And so we're exposing the BS about everything that the media is pushing, including, by the way, the climate change BS. So that's another one that's collapsing. We've now got world famous physicists like Freeman Dyson, who agrees with me and says carbon dioxide is a nutrient that supports plant life. It has many benefits across the planet. If we had higher CO2, it would have huge benefits for reforestation, food production, you know, crop growth, many, many things that would help human society uh, changing deserts into plains or grasslands or forests, uh, making food production more efficient and less costly to help feed third world nations. Higher CO2 would be great for the planet. And many in the scientific community are finally realizing this and realizing that it's just been the climate change uh, agenda or narrative have just, it's just been a cult. It's been a science cult of people who refuse to look at the actual evidence. And CO2 is a nutrient for plants. It's not a pollutant. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a blessing to our planet. In fact, every time you drive your car, you're helping to create a little more CO2 that helps the plants. So if you're driving in a city, uh, you should be thankful that you're producing some CO2 that's going to, to help the plants in the forest outside the city, because that's what's helping to keep you alive. The more CO2 in the atmosphere, the more plants thrive and they produce then oxygen. And the oxygen is what you need. And oxygen has been falling in our atmosphere for quite some time. And it's at the lowest levels ever recorded by humankind. And we're actually beginning to suffer oxygen deprivation as a civilization, while the plants had been suffering carbon dioxide deprivation, which is why the planet was uh, ha having more deserts and, and less eco diversity. So with more CO2 and more oxygen, we all benefit. And by the way, 80% of the air, the atmosphere is nitrogen. So there's a lot of room for oxygen and CO2 to expand and replace some of the nitrogen. Oxygen is, I think, somewhere under 20%. Argon's about 1%. CO2 is 400 plus parts per million, uh, 408 or 409, something in that range. And we could use 1,000 parts per million of CO2. That would be great. In any case, you are witnessing the collapse of BS at so many levels with the fake news media, with the, the stock market bubble, with cryptocurrency, with the fake claims of clean food, so many other things. And it's because of your support for organizations like us that are dedicated to telling the truth, exposing the truth, really pursuing transparency, and bringing you the real story about the cover-ups and the hidden truths that are out there, things that they don't want you to know we are busy uncovering and sharing with the public. And by the way, be sure to check out our new film, Biosludged, which really exposes the huge environmental crime of sewage sludge, quote, recycling, that is contaminating our world. It's unbelievable. It's unreal. And it features whistleblower scientists who are former EPA scientists like Dr. David Lewis, for example, and many others in the film. So check it out. It's at biosludged.com. Or you can go to brighteonfilms.com and you can watch the entire film for free. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Read my website, naturalnews.com, and prepare for more, more exposing of the truth. There's a lot more coming. We're doing some incredible work in the lab right now, too, by the way. We're going to share with the public. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Naturalnews.com. Take care. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. 
It's at healthrangerstore.com.